this video is a bit different than my other videos and it's going to be long it's going to be long-winded and it's not going to be interesting to most of you so you probably stop listening if you choose to and it has very few pictures or shiny things but i'm making it and i think some should do more research on the subject it's more of an attempt to inform on another matter not related to police but still relevant to government and tyranny and privacy and law enforcement in general and internet security I've been meaning to make this little video for some time, and every time I see another YouTuber trying to make money by selling a false, or selling you a false sense of security, by promoting and being paid by a VPN company, virtual private network as you probably know, company, to do commercials for them and their videos, it reminds me and annoys me that many are being sold something, and some of the sellers are, I believe, knowingly taking advantage of the fears and ignorance of their viewers to make money off of them. These are my thoughts, opinions, and believed knowledge of the subject. First off, I am not now, nor have I ever claimed to be an expert, a network engineer, a security specialist, or a network security specialist engineer, whatever they want to be called. Nor do I know everything, and I don't claim to. And the more I learn, or learned, the more I realized that there was actually a lot more to learn and know. You can never know it all. However, having said all of that, people need to go be more aware, more informed, and do more research before they just go buy someone's promoted VPN service. I'm also not in any way saying that those promoting VPNs are necessarily bad people, nor purposely lying to you, or purposely trying to deceive you. They may not be any more informed than many others are, and than I was at one point, and am still in many ways. The fact is, though, some of the channels trying to sell you VPN service through ads on their channel so they can be paid to make the ads and possibly get a bonus if you go buy the VPN service and link your purchase to the channel, at least some of those people are playing on the knowledge that many of their viewers are going to be inclined to purchase the service in a belief that the service will block the government 100% or other authorities from knowing their online searches, writings, communications, site visits, etc. They purposely play on the feelings and concerns of their viewers. Some of them do. I could name a few as example that I believe do, but my point isn't to call them out. My point is to just try to spread some information and get people to look elsewhere, research, think outside of the box, and not just believe what they're fed. It seems logical, based upon all I know, and what you can go look at yourself, that unless the government is not in any way aware of you having a computer or other network-capable device, a phone, tablet, whatever, and in no way suspects you do, and in no way has knowledge where it might be located, then a VPN will only aid you if they aren't really concerned about you. It's like a locked front door of your home. It keeps the people out whom aren't serious about entering. Honestly, it only keeps out the people whom aren't serious, those who might just check to see if it's locked, uh, but not wanting to put more effort into going in than the simple quick turn of the knob to see if it's locked, or a gentle push on the door to see if it'll open. Anyone truly wanting to access your intel, your information, your network data traffic, your communications, whom you communicate with, your postings on sites, and, and, and whatever, your favorite sites to visit, is not going to be stopped nor deterred from getting that which they want by a VPN. They can activate your your PC or mobile devices, cameras, and microphones if they truly want that type of intel as well. Again, I'm no expert and I don't claim to know everything, but I'll explain what I believe based upon what I believe I know as quickly as I can. First, VPN services, from my understanding, typically encrypt your data at the point of your PC so that such data cannot be read throughout the path till they get where they're supposed to go. Then they receive your data at the point of their servers, whichever server you choose to tell it to pretend that your data is coming from, then they reach out from there to get the information you're requesting or the site you want, and then it is sent back to you encrypted all the way back through the same or a similar path, most likely, and they're just a middleman, and a good one in many cases. Some VPN companies store your information on their servers, and the government could attempt to get that information from the VPN company directly. Some companies do not store any data in any way, or so they claim. And in that situation, it would be much more difficult, if not impossible, to retrieve any of your information or data from the company itself. The second type of company is obviously your best bet. However, in my belief, here's where the false sense of security really comes into play. If you buy a VPN service and they are one of the good ones and they do not store any data, and as such the government cannot expect to be able to retrieve the, your data for their own use from that company's servers, great, you're secure, right? Mm, not exactly. Here's why I say that. If someone truly wants to know what you're up to, they won't try to, to intercept and decrypt data. It's a lot more work. They will simply get a warrant or not get a warrant considering the typical approach of tyranny and government today, and they will go directly to the source, your PC, also referred to in some instances as a client. 
they'll go to your access point, aka your router or modem, and make their way into your client, also known as your PC. While you type, they can easily see what you're typing. While you make notes or comments, they can simply key log you and collect the data later or see it in real time. Yes, they can get in there and see it in real time. If you didn't know this, you need to go read up on it. They are much better and more informed than I am about such and better trained. But I know enough to know that there are many ways and someone determined to get the info is not going to be stopped by a VPN. Again, I'm no expert, but I've used operating systems such as Kali Linux and before that it was called Backtrack and other such penetration testing operating systems or software which are used to test the security of systems. And I've gotten into systems and I've checked and I've seen a, some of the things you can do and I've learned some of the stuff. And yes, you can easily key log and yes, you can easily see real time data traffic and yes, you can even easily see real time what they're typing and what site they brought up. You can see their screen if you want. It would seem to me that a VPN only helps if the person intent on getting your information can't get access to your client, whether it's a PC or phone or any other network capable device. If they want to get your info, they can go to the source. They can go to your, your client, your PC, your device, and get much of it well before it's even encrypted and sent, ignoring your VPN and your false sense of absolute security. It's just another step. In today's age of computer technology and penetration software and penetration knowledge, as well as backdoors and unsecured coding of things like Windows operating systems and Android and Apple, and then coupling all of that with the fact that many of these big companies are often inclined to surrender your data, either backdoor without admitting it, or surrender your data and your information sometimes without even being presented with a warrant and simply labeling it under something else so they can rationalize surrendering it because they want to help the government. Having a VPN is a small step towards trying to conceal information and data from prying eyes. But just like a locked door, it will only keep out those whom are honest and keep out those whom are not 100% intent on getting your information. I was always told a locked door is just to keep honest people honest. Anyone truly wanting in, they're coming in anyway, whether it's through a door, a window, a vent, etc. Nothing by itself can keep someone out 100%, especially intent people with the backing, the money, and the technology like the government. And nothing altogether will keep someone out 100% like those people. Windows firewall can't do it 100%. Router firewall won't do it 100%. Security settings in your router, like MAC address filter, uh, is another step, but even it can't keep everyone out because anyone who knows what they're doing can simply sniff in the air with a, with a, a wireless device, a wireless sniffer, a uh, laptop, whatever. Most devices these days can look around, but there's programs, depending on what you use, and operating systems that will let you really dig and look for those clients that are accessing your access point, like your router, See the clients that connect, obtain the MAC addresses and IP addresses for your network and all your clients. Wait until one of those clients is no longer connected so you won't see a duplicate or see a loss of data or a slow internet connection and data transfer on that particular device. And then connect using their spoofed, faked MAC address, get into your network, and then they're right there with just one more step towards accessing your other clients within the walls of your alleged security. Also... Anything wireless is always a bigger risk, from my understanding and knowledge. And I don't have all the knowledge, but I would say a lot of people would probably agree with me. But even being wired directly to your router or modem, they'll just enter from a different direction. Using a different process and different approaches and through the internet, you're not secure. And the VPN certainly is not the end-all be-all that they try to tell you when they're selling it to you on their channels. A VPN is a good step towards better security, but don't let the people trying to sell it to you on YouTube convince you of it being a complete safeguard of your privacy. Don't let them play on your emotions and your beliefs and your concerns. And certainly do not let them give you a false sense of security, which may come back to bite you in the butt later. The channels trying to sell you VPN services range from gun channels to civil rights channels to flight channels to plumbing channel to you name it and they all have one thing in common they want to get paid to advertise and possibly sell you a product just be sure you know the benefits and the limitations of the product or you'll probably regret it later being the person i am i like to purposely put all kinds of things 
text notes, searches, programs on my PC to give them all kinds of things to consider and get excited about. I personally never have anything on my PC or phone or any other device capable of connecting to the internet on a constant basis and that is used for constant internet that is personally linked to me or can be personally linked to me that I would care about the tyrants or our tyrannical government seeing except for my own entertainment purposes. If you want to be safer, get a device not linked to you through paper, never use your own home or any network close to you, access an access point to the net with spoofed Mac and IP address on that device and through an access point not related nor linked to you nor close to you in any way such as in your hometown or especially your neighborhood or even worse your own building and or home and never allow access to the internet on it other than when it's far away from home spoofing the mac and ip address and making sure that the device is never linked to you what it accesses has no links to you personally and it is always put away out of sight and not to be found by anyone other than you and on top of that, have a VPN and all the firewalls. But let's be honest, that's a lot of things to do to increase your security for things you don't want seen or tracked. So you'd have to be very serious about something that you're very serious about to go through all of that with something you very much don't want anyone in tyranny to know about. And even then, one slip up, one mistake, one accidentally connecting to a local access point on your own network or near you or one time you forgot the one simple step out of the many and you may still be identified located tracked and confirmed and have all your information your data your intel given over and discovered i mean hell if you really want to go to extremes and you want to increase your ability to be secure with your papers and effects never write anything down always keep it in your head and make your communications person-to-person -person style communications and that would seem more secure than any medium but then again they might just be able to track you discover who your contact is and thus discover and open up your whole world of covert intelligence and whatever you're trying to hide from them so yeah nothing is 100 percent but steps taken increase the likelihood of privacy and vpn is just one of many but none will provide you 100 percent and despite all the ads that I've seen, none of them, especially the, just, just the VPN that they keep trying to sell you, is going to prevent someone truly intent with the backing of your tax money, with the backing of the technology, with the backing of their desires from getting into your information, tracking you and knowing what you're doing. And unless you are willing to go to the steps listed above, don't be fooled that a VPN is going to prevent someone from just circumventing the VPN and going straight to the clients, your PCs, your devices, and straight to your access point and just doing what they do. They could pull out up in front of your house with a laptop, with a little dish just to amplify the receipt of your data signal. And they can sniff and get what they want and then come in from your home access point and into your own client your pc again i'm no expert but i would assume that people whom are experts probably know that nothing is 100 percent and i would think they would say that in any case these are just my opinions based upon what limited knowledge i have from some experience some learning some listening to others much more informed than i on the subject i thought i'd pass it on to someone else enjoy your day and don't let people sell you a false sense of security just so they can put money in their bank